Welcome back to another edition of Twinkle Tips Friday. It is the weekend of Halloween, guys. We hope you have everything going for your shows. We wish you the very best of Halloween success this season. Thank you for joining us. We have a wonderful trick-or-treat for you in this week's Twinkle Tips Friday video. Stay tuned. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Hey, I have something fun that I want to share with you. I think that maybe some of you might want to add something like this into your x Light show this season. And we've got something for you for free. Now, what could we possibly give you for free other than sequences? Well, um, at Christmas Expo over the summer, uh, I did a class on creating a singing face using uh, Microsoft uh, Paint 3D. One of my favorite programs. It's simple to use. Anybody can use it. And I, in one hour, without pre-testing whether I could do this or not, uh, I ended up doing a class on how to use Paint 3D and make a pumpkin face to add into your Halloween show. So what I, I I'm not going to show you how to do that today, though, um, because that that was a that was a one hour class and he did it live. But what I will show you is if you go to PixelProDisplays.com, I ended up sharing. Now I'm going to click on the Learn button here. And uh, it takes you over to our uh, PPD webinar pages. So, uh, and all of our video, our all access videos are there. Um, so if you if you missed the webinar for last week, this is where you can go look for it. If you um, if you uh, missed last week's Twinkle Tips Friday video, this is where you can go look for it uh, on the PPD website. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to type pumpkin. And I've already done that. And I'm going to click the search button. And the first thing that comes up is this matrix pumpkin face now I'm gonna click on this and what this is this is a face that the face that I actually um, uh, well I, I kind of borrowed it off of the internet if you will and and I created faces for it so that you could import these into your matrix panel and you could begin to make them sing together so uh, what I what I did was I added the download here so you should be able to click on that and it should take you to a Dropbox page here and you should be able to click this download button so once you click the download you'll see it's kind of popping up over here and it should be done and I'm gonna go ahead and open this up now it opened up over here and you can see it I'll go ahead and get rid of the uh, PPD website uh, for the moment and you can see right here you got um, this this singing pumpkin so what I'm gonna ask you to do is go ahead and copy this and then navigate to your X lights uh, page or your uh, X lights folder that is uh, and your your show folder for for sure and I'm going to do, uh, this Friday, Friday. so this is my folder this is the folder I want to share this uh, to or I want to unpack this to so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and now paste it and so he's over here next and then the next thing we'll do is we will go ahead and we are going to hit the extract button up here uh, now if if you're on a Mac, it may have unpackaged this already for you. Just grab all the files because you'll see here in a second. Uh, I'm going to extract this. You, you want to extract this into a folder called Faces that's in your show directory. So what, what I want you to do is create a folder if you don't have one already and extract these images into your Faces folder in your show directory. So what we'll do here is says select a destination to extract the files. And uh, look, it says pumpkin and we'll go to Faces and we'll select it and extract and uh, it says they're already there that's because they are there I'll go ahead and replace them doesn't matter but uh, I, I had already done this I tested this out just to make sure there weren't any bugs and X lights um, but you can go in here and you can see these are the images that came with the download now what is so important about these images that it's useful for X lights to know what you've got and in order to do so, there is a specific naming convention that we go by when we create uh, singing faces that you're going to import into your layout once you've created your own. So notice here, this says Jack. This says, well, first we'll start with template, Jack template. So what I always wanted to do when I created this, I wanted a template that I could fall back on if I sh happen to screw up the mouth movement way too badly, I could just go back to the original one. So I saved it as a separate one. And then I had a second backup. So this is Jack, a second template. And then this here is Jack, and it says underscore A-I-E-O. Now, what is the A-I? It says Jack underscore A-I. A-I stands for the physical mouth movement whenever you... you 
x lights presents a phoneme to the faces effect. So the AI mouth movement is the ah uh, sound. And so that's his mouth is nice and big and wide. And also the underscore EO stands for his eyes are open. Now x lights can differentiate between the eyes open and the eyes closed position. But what I've learned over the years that that the difference between the eyes open and the eyes closed is your blink. And usually your your characters will blink whenever they're in the rest mode, when there's no lyric tracks being sung. So by by default, x lights takes your face's effect and allows the character to blink. And if you wanted to, you could make an eyes open and an eyes closed, an EO or an uh, EC for every one of these faces, but I didn't do that in this case because I didn't feel like I needed to. So you can see here, this is the I, uh, the the E mouth. This is the ETC mouth. This is the FV mouth. This is the L mouth. You got a little red tongue sticking out there. Uh, you have the MBP mouth, the O, the rest, and, and, and notice rest has his eyes closed, and you have a rest with an eyes open, EO and EC. So that's the only one I, I provide the eyes closed for. And then obviously you see the U face and the WQ. And how did I know how to look, uh, to, to make these faces look this way? Well, I use the X lights, uh, and I'm going to set this over the side here. I'm going to move this away. You, you can see here, I'm, I, I physically made this. These are square models. If I, if I open this up and paint 3D, let's open this up and paint 3D, and you can see this. You have a canvas that's 400 by 400. So if you have a square canvas that you're using, these will work perfectly. It actually worked really good, too, on the Mesmerizer, which I was kind of surprised of. But I had to do a little bit of editing afterwards. Uh, but that was the goal. It was a high-density prop, and I wanted to see if I could get the pumpkin to sing on it. And it worked. Uh, so you could use this on your Mesmerizer, too, if you if you choose. Um, you could put it on any prop if you wanted. I, it just it depends on having enough pixels so that you can make out what it is. Uh, maybe the Showstopper Spinner, maybe the Big Spinner, maybe uh, the PPD Wreath might even work. Uh, I didn't try it on that. Uh, so anyway, I digress. Let's get Let's get over here. And let's do the faces setup for this model. So first off, I'm going to start off with this is a 24 by 24 matrix, 20, 24 strings of 24 pixels, one string per strand. I'm not I'm not trying to connect this up to a uh, a controller. I'm just trying to get it so that you can see very easily. This is a perfectly square model that will match up with the picture that we created. Now the next thing we'll do is we'll come down here to the faces and we'll open up the faces dialog box. And in here, we're going to click Add. Now, I'm going to call this Jack. And now I created the Jack, and he's he's got a face definition. And this, this is where I figured out how to make these images, the mouth movements, fit exactly with what x Lights sees things as. So with the AI mouth, the AI is the openest, widest, jaw-dropping uh, uh, mouth movement. And the E, you can see, so there's the AI with the eyes open. Um, and then you see the E is very wide and open. So I make the E a little bit wider and open, but I didn't open it as far as the AI. Then you have etc., which is kind of, a, 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 it's a mush mouth. It's like a, it's, a, it's an in-between. It's a catch-all for all of those phonemes, like the, uh, like some of the sounds, like the H sound or the other, other sounds that aren't, specifically mentioned in X lights here. So the ETC mouth is kind of kind of like I kind of see it as like the AI and the E kind of combined together kind of wide but but close together a little bit. Um, and then the FV, I always think of the FV as you're biting your lower lip with your upper teeth. Uh, and then you have the L mouth, you have the L where he got a little tongue sticking out there and it looks like the AI a little bit, but it's a little closer than the AI. So I designed it that way, right? And then you have the MBP, the M or the P or the B sound. And then you got the O and there's the O and you have the rest and the U and the WQ. So let's get these pictures in here. This is really, really easy. It's really important though, that if you use this naming convention, it really is slick as a dickens to get these in here. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to, I, I clicked on the E here, but I'm actually gonna double click now on the AI. And whenever you double click that way, notice at the top it says choose image file for mouth opening of, or excuse me, mouth AI eyes open. So we already know AI eyes open. 
If we click on the AI eyes open, Xlights is going to auto fill everything else in for us for the eyes open. And there you go. You see it, how it automatically filled. Now, this is why I spent so much time going through how all of those uh, nomenclatures work because it really is important that if you take the time to um, parse out the image name that way, it easily brings it in, right? So then you have this mouth, or I'm sorry, this mouth rest, and the rest is where the blink eye comes in. And I'm gonna I'm gonna select below the blink eye, and then I'm gonna double click on the eyes closed, and I'm gonna double click on the rest. And now I'm gonna go look for my only pumpkin that has the eyes closed, and that's my rest. And so now he's in there, and if we open this up, you can see all it's doing. X Lights is saying, "Hey, what's the file path? Where am I going to find these images?" And you can see. If I keep making this smaller and smaller and smaller, you can see that it's found the path for here. It's following the path to these images. And again, we put these images in your faces folder that's inside your X-Lights layout that you're using. So, and then obviously the only eyes closed, you could go through and make your own eyes closed version of these, but you don't need to. Um, and click OK. And now you have, and then we'll save the we'll save the definition. And now if we go over and we create a new sequence, I'm actually going to use a musical sequence because, um, let's see, let's go into. I have to navigate a little bit. There we go. So we'll we'll select this pumpkin v1. And I'm going to go with 20 frames per second. Click done. And now we're in the sequence tab. Once we get over here, uh, I'm just going to lay this timing mark down real quick letter T for timing and I'm going to come up here and grab the faces effect and you can see here in the model preview that uh, between between everything that we've done you can see the model preview showing the pumpkin and he set at the phone name rest mode and you can see you can watch him blink here in a second see him blink it's so cute um, but now what I want to do is I want to actually import uh, a sequence that has lyric tracks that's fitting for this kind of thing. So once again, once again, um, I'm, I'm going to go over to the PPD website and I'm going to click on learning and I'm going to search for, um, we did pumpkin before. And we have a couple. We have a couple interesting things here. One thing though is in our in our joke section in our uh, is our pumpkin patch joke pack one, and um, this is this is the joke pack. You can pick this up, and uh, it's I think what it's only twenty five bucks. Uh, club members get fifty percent off of all the joke packs, so you can go pick this up and add this in for Halloween. And then what we'll do is we're going to use this MP three from this, and we're going to import the lyric track from this. And even though we don't have a whole house sequence that you can watch, you'll still get to see if we go to import, import effects, and I just have to navigate over to it. So here's our mapping dialog. We've selected the sequence that we're going to import. I'm just going to bring in the lyric tracks. I don't want to bring in anything from the sequence here. So you can see here we have the lyric tracks brought in and you see other timing marks. We didn't bring any effects in, but I think the important thing is we're just going to grab the faces and pull the faces over. And so if we grab the faces, let's extend that all the way to the end there and let's have him read the timing track that's called pumpkin V1 dry read. And we'll call that pumpkin. We'll, we'll select that one. And what if we play it here? Hi there, I'm Lucky, Lucky Pumpkin. Why do they call me Lucky? Well, I'm sitting here in this pumpkin patch and all these people come around with their kiddos to find the best pumpkin they can find to make a jack-o'-lantern. You know what a jack-o'-lantern is, right? They rip off your head, pull out your guts, poke holes in you. And there you go. It looks like everything kind of just worked out perfectly for us. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's Quinkle Tip Friday video. It is definitely Halloween season, and we really hope that you guys enjoyed this little tips and tricks that we've added in for you through our Twinkle Tips Friday. If you liked the video, please give us a huge thumbs up if you haven't done yet, so please subscribe to the PPD YouTube channel. Also, keep in mind that we uh, do a class every Tuesday night. Well, actually, we do a PPD open mic night every other Tuesday, and we do a class 
every Tuesday. Now, last week, we had a wonderful time. We talked about doing some of the x Lights greatest gem editions, uh, greatest hits that have been added into x Lights. But uh, we, we, we like doing these classes because it helps us uh, share the information that we already have and teach people who are new to the hobby and help get you going and maybe open your eyes to things that maybe you hadn't thought of doing before. And if you appreciate the things that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, folks, please consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where we do one awesome sequence each and every month or, well, actually we do two awesome sequences each, each and every month new to the store. And you get to choose from three different songs. So. Uh, each month we do that, and that's just for the club members. Not only that, we offer huge discounts from the vendor affiliates on the vendor uh, vendor uh, discounts page, and we also have PPD preset effects that we generate every month, and you can go download those if you're in the club. Guys, thanks for joining us. Clyde signing out. We'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye for now. Thank you for joining us. And if you appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, please consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. We do one awesome sequence each and every one month. <laughs> and if you appreciate the things that we do here,